Near 90 for us tomorrow and for Monday, but for today, we're in the mid 80s for us in Denver. Lots of sunshine, so again, those ladies should dry off pretty quickly. That said, we do have a threat force view weather mainly across eastern Colorado. I think here in the Denver metro area, the threat force view weather is low for today. Reason being that the surface is just too dry for really big storms like what we had on Thursday night, but still, eastern plains. Fort Morgan, Lyman on east. That's where you're be talking about some very large hail, isolated tornadoes, and some pretty gusty winds. AC Doppler radar mostly on the quiet side right now. We'll see showers and storms pull their way on in from the west. We'll see those kind of develop early to mid-afternoon, and then those will eventually strengthen as they move east into the eastern plains. Uh, again, Fort Morgan, Lyman on east. That's where you're looking at the highest risk for severe weather with large hail a possibility out there. And that's, as usual, the main concern. But again, isolated tornadoes and also some damaging winds possible within those storms as well. Low 60s, Denver area right now. Some 50s in a few of the uh, slightly cooler spots. Highs today, a few degrees above our seasonal average. Our average high for today is in the upper 70s. Uh, for today, we'll be in the mid 80s for us across most of the metro area and then into southeast Colorado, some low 90s. Again, most of what you're looking at here, about five degrees or so above our seasonal average. Grand Junction, 92 degrees for us for today. For today here in Denver, again, mid 80s, clouds will increase. I know it's mostly sunny right now. Later this morning, those clouds will kind of thicken on up. Those strong storms will be mainly confined to eastern Colorado. By the way, if you're heading to the women's national team game uh, out at Dick's Sporting Goods Park, probably drive 20, 30% chance for a storm. If you do have those outdoor uh, plans for this afternoon or this evening, keep them. Just have an indoor option in mind. Again, I would say about a 20, 30% chance that we end up with a shower or a quick thunderstorm for us here in town. Tonight we drop back low to mid 50s, storms mainly east tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. Upper 80s, low 90s. It does turn breezy for tomorrow as well. 80s, 90s, eastern plains, 60s and 70s into the high country. And for tomorrow, it's the northeastern corner of the state. This is where we're looking at that highest potential for severe weather in that yellow shade zone up there. That's where we have a level two risk on a zero to five scale. And again, it's going to be the northeastern corner, but it does look a little drier tomorrow compared to today with that risk for severe storms, mainly in northeastern Colorado. In Denver, slight chance for a storm, but again, I'd say maybe a 10, 20% chance for a storm tomorrow. Seven day forecast, upper 80s, low 90s. The real stories we had over the next little while, it's the heat and very limited rain chances with, I would say, isolated storm chances for the most part over the next few days.